host. Perfect. I really like how these turned out. Usually I'm not a chrome guy, but you know, tastes change as you get older. You've probably already seen, Magnolia has a lot of places to put stuff. And you may have seen, not all of them have handles. A lot of them had plastic handles on them in here and in those holes with these complicated mechanisms that you would pull and a little thing would turn, which would pull a couple of rods, which would then unlock these little doodads. Almost all of them were seized. Couldn't open them, couldn't lock them, couldn't get them unlocked. So we just decided to get rid of them all together. You may have seen the video where we re-engineered our locking mechanisms on the bay doors. That's when we installed these little uh, cute little doobies here. We took all the plastic ones out all around the bus. We just got rid of them. I don't have any left. We threw them all out. Do I have any? No, they're all gone. I want to tell you a little story about traveling from Oregon to Oklahoma with a bus that had barely any kind of handles and locking storage. The big bays had locking storage. These little guys, not so much. These two were actually seized. The locking mechanisms were seized on these ones, so they didn't open. We only got them open when we uh, when we got here, lifted up the floors, and we were able to get in from the top. This one, it didn't have a lock, and it's our battery. These little trays, somebody, me, whenever I say somebody, it's usually me, didn't secure them well enough at one point. So I go on to, uh, um, I take a left turn onto a highway on-ramp. This one comes sliding out. This door goes flying open. These things weigh about 100 pounds. I don't know, but they're heavy. And I'm still on the highway on-ramp. That was fun. This one has a door, but it wouldn't close. We had to glue this one shut. You can still see a little bit of Sikaflex here and a little bit over here. Yeah, we glued that one shut. This one I put a padlock on. That's one of our fuel tanks. <laughs> I almost said gas. We've got one on each side. These doors were locked with uh, coat hangers. This one doesn't even have a door. We had a door in the bus when we bought it. We thought it was for this compartment. Turns out it wasn't. It was for another bus that's smaller. Same width, but only came down to about here. So we attached it anyway. Uh, piano hinge up here and we tied it shut with a rope through that hole right there into the cabin of the bus And that got us uh, here from Oregon. This one had one of those plastic handles We had to rip off and it was seized shut So we had to actually cut it open as you can see You know when you're on a bus and you're coming off and there's a little place to put your garbage So the driver doesn't have to go back and pick up after you right there. This one was seized shut as well We had never gotten into this one until we made it down here took the floors off We were able to get inside and just simply unbolt the lock Today we're gonna to work on these ones. Locking latches, riveted on. Still not sure what we're gonna do with these, but it'll be fun finding out. You've already seen the compartments on the other side I already have latches on them. So let me show you how we did that. They come with this little rubber gasket, which I'm sure does a great job. Um, we're gonna use butyl tape. I really like this stuff. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put these keys on this same key ring. Uh, this used to be the ignition key for the bus. It used to also used to be the only key that opened up the door. The lock still is there, it doesn't work. I had the lock jury rigged for the drive here, because I did everything it seemed, but uh, it started to fail on us because it was just wired together. This key is no good anymore for anything on the bus. We're gonna keep it though just, uh, just for, for sentiment. The same as this uh, brass tag. This Coach 602, that's the number on the bus. I like it. Now you can see that this has got the locking mechanism kind of sticks up and this is not going to fit in here because of that. The rest of it would fit in fine. I got also got to cut out the back because of this. Just about an inch up and we're gonna go a little bit less than an inch. I'm just gonna scratch it into the paint. It's also gonna be from an inch and a half from each side. I've got an old blade on this multi-tool. It shouldn't give me any problem.
comes apart really nice. Now I often cut um, a little bit conservatively, so that'll fit. The problem is now this back plate behind it. The locking mechanism is a little bit too big, so now I've got to cut this off. I'm going to put you over here, because I usually hit it from this side. Luckily they've got these three holes which make it easy to line up. Yeah, I believe it's toasted. Let's see if I can find another one. Alright, let's try that. Now the reason I cut this piece out and I cut it out over here is so that the, the locking latch will have a place to go. So let me just finish this off and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. All right, let's see if it fits. I gotta take off the old lock, which is, I think it's number 10. Yep, yeah, number 10, perfect. That is a torque screw. Now I wonder why they've got a torque screw in there. Perfect. Right on. It's always nice to get it right first time. And... There you go. One old locking mechanism. And that's it. That old lock is gone. I love this stuff. It never quite sets, it doesn't get hard, it's always soft. In direct sunlight it gets very soft, but it seals really well. You gotta be very delicate, because I don't want anything to move. Something else I really love, these Clecos, temporary rivets, very useful. We use them doing the transition. Boy, what a treat! Now this, I had some problems yesterday doing the other ones. I didn't use Clecos. What happens is once you, when you start riveting this, this pops out and then it gets all wackadoo. Today I'm using Clecos. There's another problem I had yesterday with the, the rivets. They didn't really hold well, and it's because I think they're so close to the edge. I'm gonna put. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna put a little tiny washer on the back of this rivet. I'm gonna stick it there with a, just a little bit of butyl tape. The trick is getting my rather large and round fingers up into this to do that. Let's try that. I have the worst luck with the mandrels on rivets not breaking. I just want to make sure that's holding. Yeah, that seems to be holding. Rather than try and break them off with the rivet gun, I'm just going to leave them and I'll snap them off with, uh, with snippers and then just take a flap disc and grind them down. One more thing. You gotta use a gentle touch with this to avoid scratching the paint.
Yeah, there's a little bit of a scratch paint here, but I won't rust. It's just unsightly, and we have enough paint to do touch-ups, so there you go. Now, I gotta take this off now, too. We're getting some new weather stripping that's gonna fit along here. We're gonna put something down here that will hold this or keep it locked and snugly. I'm not gonna put that in until I have the weather stripping in and I know exactly where this should sit. So that's what I'm waiting on for that. When I get that done, I'll certainly show you. I'm gonna take this home and uh, see if I can find another one to replace it on Amazon. We're gonna be replacing these floors one day, but not today. That looks better. Welcome to day three of our quick one day project. Today, weather stripping. We picked this up off the street in front of a house in Portland. It's been so handy. This one's already got weather stripping on it. It's all taking it off and replacing it. Nothing is square on a bus. I've got most of them done. I've got one more to go. I'm feeling pretty good. They went in pretty easily. If you want to see more about how we re-engineered the locks on our bay doors here, uh, take a look at this video right here and it'll tell you all you need to know. And if you liked any of this and you find it enjoyable or entertaining or informative, hit the subscribe button. It really helps. See you next week. Back to work.